me put it like this. Let me put it like this. I'll be honest with you. I was not that good in math. I was good in social studies. I was good in English. And then, Brother DeAndre, I was good, of course, at talking. I passed every, every speech class with flying colors. You couldn't tell me nothing. Every time I had a speech class, I got an A+. Plus. Right. But I wasn't good, Sierra, at math. Now, when I got in the math class, the part that irritated me the most, Brother Richardson, was the fact that the teacher would get up in front of the class and write on the board the beginning of the equation, all the work of the equation, and then the answer of the equation, and says, Burl, do you know what I did to get this answer? No. <laughs> I didn't understand it for myself. The teacher knew it, but I had to learn it for me. And here's the thing, y'all. I could not guess the answer. I couldn't cheat off of somebody else's paper, and I could not look in the back of the book for the answer. I had to know it for me. And that's all I'm asking you young people yeah. today. Know the faith for you. Yeah. Not because Pastor Whipple asked you or, or that your family pushed you to come to church today because it was youth day. But you got to know your own scripture. Yeah. Know your favorite hymn. Have a reason why you yeah. come to church Sunday yeah. after Sunday. Yeah. Have a reason why you like coming to Asbury. Yeah. You better know the faith for yourself. Do me a favor, Brother DeAndre. Tap somebody and say, know it for yourself. No, know it for yourself. Yeah. Know it for yourself. See, Paul knows that Timothy's mama and grandmama knew about Jesus uh, and they had a strong faith for themselves. Uh, but Timothy had to put his big boy pants on and know that thing for him. Well, let me get ready to close this thing. You're blessed with your bloodline, Sister Caleb, by what you bear in your life. By, by the faith that you believe in you. Finally, says Sierra, is by what you bring to the table. Write that down, y'all. By what you bring to the table. Verse 6 says this, y'all. To stir up the gift that's in you. <laughs> don't let anybody tell you that you don't bring anything to the table. Folk always say, you too young to do this. You too young to do that. You, don't you know how many times folk have told me, Sister Donnie, I'm too young to pass to anybody. Don't you know God made sure you did not show up empty-handed when God gave you gifts. You are in a position where you have to activate what God gave you. And guess what? You got something to bring to the table. Paul wanted Timothy to get excited about the things of God without being prompted to. Listen, y'all, you better have praise and worship by yourself and don't wait for Brother Roundtree. You better be able to sing your own song, preach your own sermon, uh, give your own offering, uh, and it's not even Sunday morning. Uh. See, the thing is, Paul knew uh, the potential of young Timothy. Uh, now, Timothy needs to know it uh, for himself. Uh, you need to know today, uh, you are more than saggy pants or, or tight jeans. Uh, both of them things are ugly and you should be wearing them. Uh, you were created uh, for more than a Sunday morning hangover. Uh, your life uh, is not dictated by who liked your picture or your status. Right. God has gifted you uh, for so much yeah. more. You bring something to the table. I don't care if you're 12 or 25. God put enough in you to have you to bring something to the table. Yeah. Okay, our children are checked out. I'm going to preach to the grown folk. I need y'all to get this this morning. God has set you up for greatness before the foundation of the world. And it comes up from your bloodline. Yeah. All you got to do, Asbury, is activate what's in you by stirring that thing up. I can't let it sit dormant. I can't fall asleep on my pew. I got to stir up what God has put in me. Listen, y'all, never let the ignorant comments of other folk slow down the progress that you're making in your life. I told you, just because you're getting good grades and they're not. Uh, please don't let that haterate comments uh, stopping you uh, yeah. from getting great and getting yeah. that good grade. Yeah. Stir it up anyway. Yeah. I dare you to stir it up. Uh, stand with integrity. Uh, and you better wait till you get
get married uh, to have sex. Uh, right. So y'all gonna get quiet real quick. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, see, many of us in here can testify uh, we should have waited, uh, but we did not wait. Uh, and that's why we're telling you, young people, uh, you better wait. Uh, your emotions can't handle it. Uh, you ain't got enough money to raise a child, no way. Uh, you better be God got so much more waiting for you. There's a future with your name on it. Don't you sacrifice that for a few moments of pleasure. I wish I had a witness who can testify. I can stir up the gifts God gave me. And that's why fear can't stop you. Apprehensions have no power. It's time to stir up what God has put in you. Matter of fact, slap out with your neighbor. Say, stir it up, stir it up, stir it up. Now, beloved, if you're thinking to yourself, I don't know my gifts, Pastor Whipple. I don't have any wonderful people in my life or in my family to encourage me. So who in my bloodline is going to help me out? Uh, well, listen, Brother Brandon, uh, I dare you to keep on shaking uh, that family tree uh, until something good uh, falls out of it. Uh, yeah. All your family ain't alcoholics. Uh, yeah. All your family ain't drug dealers and drug users. Uh, yeah. All your family members ain't crazy. Uh, it's just the ones you know right now. Yeah. Uh, I dare you to keep shaking that family tree uh, until something good uh, comes out. Because somewhere along the line, I know you had a praying grandmother. Somewhere along the line, I know you had a praying grandfather. Somewhere along the line, I know you got an ancestor who knew to call on God for themselves. You better keep shaking that family tree until something good falls out of it. And if you still think you don't have anybody in your bloodline, you better remember your link to the bloodline of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah. 
and this life. Uh, the rest is up to you. Uh, God is calling forth uh, a new generation of thinkers, uh, a new generation of entrepreneurs, uh, a new generation of pastors and preachers, uh, a new generation of lawyers uh, and politicians uh, with integrity. Uh, so it's up to you, young people, because uh, what you got uh, is already in you. Stop denying uh, what God invested in you. Uh, just so you can fit in uh, with some nappy headed Negroes uh, who don't like you anyway. Uh, God has need of you. Uh, there's a word today uh, for every young person, uh, and that is uh, God has need of you. Uh, everything that you need uh, is already in you. Uh, I need you to understand uh, what God needs for you to do uh, is make some moves in this life. Uh, 